Hey everyone, it's Robin. Um, I'm coming on redoing this um, haul that I did on Friday after my uh, uncle's funeral and burial. Um, I just needed to shop. So uh, I filmed this twice and tried to upload it twice. <laughs> And it never did. So this third time is the charm, right? Um, I picked this um, this pillow up at Tuesday morning, and I absolutely loved it. I think it's so pretty. It's really good quality. Um, but here is the skew on it, and it was only. Um, $14.99 as you can see but I just I absolutely love this pillow for fall and of course it's in my colors so win-win I also picked up this one and it's quite a bit larger it's where the other one was long as you could tell this one's more of a large square but this is um, embroidered and it's just it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and so here is the, well, there it goes. That's the skew for that one. And then I also picked up this table runner right here. And there's the skew for that. And it's a 72 inch runner. It's beautiful. Love it. So, grab that. And then I also picked up, well, oh, I picked up um, some napkins. And these look like really good quality napkins. There are four to a pack, so I, I had to get two packs. Because I have a place setting of eight, but here is if I can get it to there. There you go. So I got I picked two of these up, but they have the little stacked pumpkins right here that I thought were so cute. So I grabbed those, and then I also grabbed these um, hand towels, and you get two of them. There's the skew on that. Then I also picked up these. And there's the skew on those. I actually picked up two of these. I didn't mean to, but I did. So I may take one of those back. So um, what else did I get at Tuesday morning before I get into this? And I'm sorry, you're probably already seeing the stuff from Dollar Tree, but, um, oh, I know. So I put some things back when I saw those in the paper crafting, when I saw all of the decorating things, and, um, this, this, so this is what I walked out with. Um, I haven't seen this paper pad in my store nor have I seen anyone haul it but I picked these up I actually put the Market Street the my mind's eye Market Street collection back um, and only kept these because I think that you can use these for pretty much any kind of journal or vintage scrapbook um, that you want to put them in and then I also picked these up because I thought that they would be really cute um, for recipe books and so there's two packs of these I'm hearing fireworks outside you all um, and then I picked these up from Love and Lemon you all have probably already seen them I grabbed those and then uh, I grabbed two packs of these because I thought that they would 
go so pretty with those paper, those fall paper pads that I just picked up. Grab two of those. And then I grabbed two of these Dear Lizzie die cup shapes. Because if you'll look on the back, they have lemons and um, the navy blues and stuff. And I just thought that it would really go well with that Southern Belle paper pad that Tina gifted me. Thank you, Tina. I found one more of those, by the way. Um, the Southern Belle one. So, but anyway, I grabbed two of these. And then I picked this Happy Day paper pad up for a fellow YouTuber who was looking for it. As well as the... Um, the kit um, and so there's a number on that so you get six sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock and then the coordinating sticker sheet and there that is in case you all haven't seen it so I got those and then I never could find that wood paper pad to make the mini album for the uh, wood shop, you know, so I picked this one up and I can't remember if I bought this before or um, oh, let's see. I can't remember if I bought this one. I've bought this one before or if I've had it in my buggy and then edited it, you know, took it out because I always, it seems like I always do that. But it's really pretty. Um, there's some, I mean, there's some that I don't think would be right for a, let me see if I can open it. Sorry, guys. Somebody must be getting married. If y'all hear the, I'm going to let, I don't see them. Just making a bunch of noise. Um, but they they have some wood, you know, wood pages in it. So, you know, like that. I don't think that would be great. And certainly not cowhide or whatever that is. But like this, that would be pretty. And that. And even that. So I was thinking that I could use some of these um, actually most of them that see I can't really use all that I don't suppose but I think it just repeats yeah it repeats and it looks like you get three of each in it that's what it looked like but I picked um, I picked that up and then I went to um, Dollar Tree in hopes to find these pumpkins and I got really really lucky and <clears throat> they were still on the cart there was a bunch of stuff that was on the cart that I helped the manager pick up so if you haven't seen these these are the colors that they come in they come in a cream color. They're velvet pumpkins. They come in a cream and orange. I'm calling this a champagne because it's it's just elegant looking. Um, now these little these little things right here, they're not elegant looking at all. But you can you can paint those up and shabby them a little bit, and it'll make them look more expensive. Um, and then this, I'm not sure, it's probably coming off as a blue, but in reality, it's a deep teal. Um, if I was filming, when I filmed in the daytime, you could actually tell that they were teal rather than that blue. Um, but it's nighttime. So that, and then there's a chocolate brown or a mocha, I guess you could say. See the difference? So this one is the champagne and the, this is a, like a brown. Let me see. Hang on a minute. 
Maybe that helps. Can you see that? Yeah, you can tell the difference now. I had too much light in here. I don't know if you can. Well, maybe you can tell it's more teal, but it's just a real deep dark teal. So we'll go ahead and pop those down in here um, to get them off my desk. And I just, when I store my stuff, I put them in these Rubbermaid containers to where they can go up in my in my attic and they'll stay nice and clean and everything. And then I just pull them down like that. I have them labeled but to get all this off my desk. I'm just doing this. That's good enough for now. So I also picked these up. They only had one of the cream, but they're really pretty. So they only had cream and green at my store, and she didn't see any more. Um, we didn't find any more when she was unloading her big cart. She said that they were getting another shipment on Monday, and then I grabbed two of these. I can't remember if they had these last year or not, but I know that I bought... Um, a whole bunch last year but I had to paint them. I also picked up this um, ribbon from there because I think the only time they have this one is um, during the fall but I use this a lot so I went ahead and grabbed all those and then I also had to get some more packing tape because I've gone through packing tape like crazy. And then I just picked up the, the basic colors for uh, some ribbon that I, I know that I use a lot. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And then they had these. And I thought they were really cute. They're just little signs. Um, I, I'm not crazy about this color green for some reason up here. And I thought maybe if I... I don't know, put some chalk paint on it and just made it look a little bit more grungy or something. I would like it better, but I thought it was such a cute little sign, little hanging sign. And then um, they had it with the apple as well. And I think you could use this in a country kitchen, you know, any time of year if you wanted to. Um, every one of them had most of the paint off up here, but I, I wasn't worrying about that because... I'm going to fix it and make it prettier anyway. And I, I grabbed um, two of these to where I could put one in like a fall giveaway in a couple of months. And then um, this was something new. Looks like a little mason jar. Isn't that the sweetest thing ever? With the little truck. It's just really cute. The only thing that I'll do differently is I'll spray... Um, to make sure that this glitter doesn't keep falling off. I'll spray it with some hairspray or some clear um, spray. And then here's the other one. So you can see the difference. Those were the only two um, that they had. I'll spray that one as well. Then I also picked up these little paint trays there's six of them and yes I know that they're supposed to be Disney and all that but they were butterflies and I, they're sectioned off and I just thought that those would be so cute because of my love of butterflies what else okay that was it for dollar no no it wasn't they had these And I need to go ahead and see. I mean, I was helping the lady take um, everything out of the boxes. But they have, um, they're just little metal corn, corn stakes. And the leaves are metal. I just, I thought they were so cute. Would those not look darling sticking out of a, um, like a hay, hay bale? Or just in a, like a mum, sticking out of the top of a mum or something, just as some extra decoration. I thought they were precious, so I grabbed them. And then, um, 
the I had forgotten to show you all what I had bought when Gracie 21 had her uh, Stampin' Up! party with uh, Kim, who's Kimbo Creation. Um, I bought two things, both were on clearance, but I bought this. These are the little Christmas stockings. Sybil B had shown how she had done these in traditional colors and then non-traditional colors and I just I had to I had to get them so I picked those up like I said they're um, if they still have them they were in the clearance section and then um, the other one was this little mini mini bag thinlet and there's the number if you're looking um, but I'll show you what they look like because sometimes that kind of helps, you know. Um, so there's what they look like. That's what you get. And so I'm looking real forward to playing with those. And then I got a package in the mail and had no idea who it was from. So it was a complete surprise, and what I had done was I had just sliced the end, up, end open, and I thought, mm, I'm going to do it on camera, but, <laughs> but it may be a blooper because it, mm, you know, I had no idea what it was because it said something quilts. Wait a minute, I'll tell you. It said blue bonnet quilts, and I thought, I didn't, I didn't order any patterns or anything like that. And so I am sorry, Lisa, who is uh, Lisa at the Barnyard Chicken. I am so sorry that the video where I had originally opened this is won't let they won't let me upload it because it was so funny, and you would appreciate it. But I was so thrilled, and I'm still thrilled. Don't get me wrong. But I had won um, a little giveaway of hers where she had found these lip smackers at Dollar Tree. And I had almost forgotten about it. But um, I love, I love lip smackers. I'm not a lipstick girl. <laughs> I just like if my lips get um, more, uh, dry or something, I'll just put some kind of chapstick or something on them or... Uh, a teenager's lip gloss <laughs> can't help it but anyway she had sent this card as well and it says Robin congrats and thank you thank you for watching and joining in on the fun hugs Lisa the barnyard chicken so thank you so much again but when she sent this she sent all this stuff too and I thought this is so sweet of her these are the We Are Memory Keepers Top Cast, the mini card set. I'd never seen these, and I thought they were so cute. Um, that's what they look like on the back. Oh, these were from Tuesday morning. But I have this typewriter, so thank you. Um, and then I thought that these would go really well with uh, the fall stuff, uh, the fall papers that I just bought. I just love the um, this, the sayings and all. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then these stickers right here. I've had these right here before because these two little things down here, I remember specifically making a card and it went out in some Happy Mail somewhere. But I have um, a little bit of this paper line because they had just like a little thin paper pack. A while ago of this so I can finish using that little paper pad making some more cards with these so thank you so much Lisa and then she also sent these which were adorable are those not sweet I just loved them the little coffee cup and yeah I loved them and then these look how neat this is it's graph paper and so I was looking I can't tell if this is paper that she's made or if she's bought it like this but every page is identical so I don't know 
but I love it. That'll be great for junk journals. And there's there's several pages here. So thank you so much. And then, <clears throat> you know, I've been buying these little stamp sets and putting them in uh, Happy Mail. Well, our store never got this one. My Tuesday morning never got it. And I love it. Look how pretty that is. I just loved it. I thought it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. There they are. You see? Yeah. Aren't those cute? Yeah, I loved them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then um, she sent some coin envelopes. And I, I used to use these all the time. So I'll go back to using them. I was out. So thank you. And then she sent this really, really pretty envelope that I think... Um, that I think she's made herself. Look. Is that not nice? It's just a so sweet. I just I absolutely loved it. So thank you so much, Lisa. I really, really, really appreciate it. And um so yeah, that's it. That's my hauls and my happy meal, my surprise happy meal. Uh keep your fingers crossed that this uploads. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great, great day and a good start to your weekend. We have one more day to go. We have a um, neighborhood picnic tomorrow here, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. And I think there's some new neighbors that's a couple of doors down that I'll get to meet, so I look forward to that. But I hope that uh, you all are just crafting away, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.